Well, there I got the rest of the valve body off it there. The, it's uh, sitting back there. And uh, here we got the, the drive chain. And I also got uh, three springs on the left there. On this case, the top one, he's uh, painted like blue. And uh, the center one fell out, but I got it sitting over here. It looks basically the same as the bottom one, but since the bottom one didn't fall out, I'm going to stick a tag on him so that I know it's the bottom one. That way they'll go back in the same holes they come out of. The top one, he's uh, got like paint of blue on it so I can identify that. So, hopefully that helps. As you can see, you gotta, got a drive chain here and there's a plastic washer there that comes up in the front there. And, uh, looks like some type of a speed sensor or something there. I don't know what else that would do. Let's see where the driver's side axle goes in. So, uh, hang this light here. Give it a little spin there like I was doing earlier. Set that spring down, so so this axle here turns independent of the of the gear. The gear's on a spline because it slides out. And you can and then back it up a little bit there. So you, I'm surprised there's like no chain tension or anything on this. But and then we'll take the light back this way. This uh, center shaft comes out. I guess that's the drive shaft for the front pump. Feels like I might have monkey something up there. Yeah, it's possible. Take some uh, seals on there. I think it was like Teflon or something. I don't know. Like I say, that comes off. Just stuck there by transmission fluid. Spinner over there, you can see some stuff turning deep inside of there. Well, I figured sooner or later I'd have to tear the pan off, but yeah, it actually just popped right off. I was kind of surprised. I thought there'd be a bit of pry bar involved, but this seems like a heck of a way to install a filter, but it just, it just pushes on. See, I'm not overly impressed with that. One thing I'm doing is going through a lot of paper towel, wiping my hands off here. Tranny fluid on everything. So the filter just pushes into that uh, rubber piece there with a tube there on it. Almost looks like rusty or something. I don't know. Got a strange color there. You can see it in the video. But anyway, we'll deposit it in the pan and uh, I'm at it there. I'll show you the so it's got this uh, magnet on it there for collecting uh, pieces of uh, worn out pieces from the gears and things. So this actually looks fairly clean. Like the one of mine was worse looking than that. But you should always like wipe it off if you're uh, changing the filter and uh, you have the pan off there. Clean that off and put new transmission fluid in. These are. Uh, oil pipes there going to different uh, pressure pipes going to different areas of the transmission there probably a uh, I don't know what you call it, a servo or something there piston that pushes on a band anyways you can see some of the uh, internals there they're all made of steel the majority of them uh, the reason I had to flip it over here uh, I couldn't pull the uh, pull it apart from the front there anymore I thought there had to be something back here retaining it. So, who knows what it is, but let's see if I can figure it out. So, I was just trying to document here. Uh, the, the bolts that hold these uh, oil uh, lines on are about uh, one inch long. Most of the bolts on these transmissions are 8 millimeter head. Uh, some of the others are 13s. It seems to be, I guess there's even some, a couple of 10s, but. So anyway, uh, these guys are all uh, about an inch long. They're the shortest bolts I've seen yet on this. 
Uh, one other thing, just caution, you're undoing the uh, bolts on the servos, uh, loosen them up uh, slowly, like uh, go from one to the other to the other, because it's spring in there and it'll push it. You don't, you don't want to have it come undone all at once and go hit you or go flying across the room or something. That might be possible, I don't know, but better safe than sorry, right? There you see, I was right. Great big spring in back of that piece I was unbolting there, so it's a good thing I uh, undid the three of them in a sequence there, uh, loosening them each up a little bit at a time and working around in a circle. And the bolts holding the servos in are about an inch and a half long. Let's see one sitting there. And there we have the second servo out. Uh, that spring doesn't have any coloring to it. Uh, the first one I took off there at the, the back here, it uh, it has a green spring on it. You can see it's just a just like a pilot there for the spring. And uh, like I say, just undo them in a sequence, going around the circle there a bit at a time. Otherwise, you might uh, warp something or have the thing jump when it comes off, and lose some pieces or something. Same thing, about an inch and a half long bolts on that.